I'm sorry, everybody. I know I'm dicking around there. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Angry Welshman Productions. Uh, I am joined tonight by Sam of Steve, uh, Sam Stevenson of Blast Pipe Productions. Hello. And tonight, as you probably guessed from the screenshot and everything else, we're going to be driving the Bossman Games Merchant Navy class, which came out yesterday. Hooray! Hooray! Um, as you could probably tell, for the first on this route, we're going to be driving from London Waterloo to Portsmouth Harbour. The London section is going to be very intensive on the game, so it's going to have really crappy frame rates for the first few minutes, so please bear with us about that. Uh, tonight we're going to be driving the prestigious Golden Arrow Express, and we're going to be utilising number 35028 Clan Line. She's a beauty. And also tonight, Not quite Bahamas level, but... Not quite Bahamas level, but that comes from a bitter Yorkshireman who's a bit bitter about something. Uh, yeah, maybe, a little. Just mm. a bit. A certain pull on the bash mash. Perhaps. <laughs> so, um, we're also going to be driving. So we got a, um, a clan line or a Merchant Navy Association um, support coach. And we've also got a rake of Pullman coaches. Unfortunately, they are carrying the Queen of Scots uh, name boards. There's no because it's a quick drive. I couldn't get around that. So uh, we've got twelve. But we've got twelve Pullman coaches on the back, including a Pullman observation coach, which we're ready to drop as soon as we hit trouble. As soon as we hit trouble on any form of gradient, we'll be dropping that off the back. Uh, the reason I wanted to make it a quick drive is because I'm kind of fed up of driving on these, um, you know, routes without seeing any AI stock whatsoever. It's nice to actually see something around while we're driving. Um, the other thing we're going to be doing tonight, which I'm sure, you know, you've seen, you've probably seen it before, but it's the first time that me and Sam have given this a go, is we are using a program called Team Viewer to basically do a form of multiplayer. Uh, so, <clears throat> Sam will be on the shovel, and I will actually be driving. Oh no, that's not the plan, was it? Um, well, I think we can have a go at, if you want, you drive it out of London, and when we get better frame rate, see if I can take over. If you want to, yeah. So Just because it might be a bit easier. You remember all the controls. We've got the manual on the side as well, just in case, because I'm sure at some point we're going to struggle. Yeah, well, I think oh. if nothing else, just the fact that basically the way this program works, um, through the miracle of the internet, I'm plugged into Reese's computer. So while Reese is looking around at the moment, if Reese stops looking around, yeah, this then is now Sam controlling the cab control. This is now me looking around, which is why it's a bit weird. Yeah, Sam's just abusing the um, power. No, that's just trying to move around normally. It's just a bit dodgy, but... So there we go. There we are. So pretty much we are ready to go, aren't we? Apart from taking the handbrake off and uh, getting going, we're, we're ready to start. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, everybody is there saying the pasty is ready, the pasty is ready to go. Um, We've got one to share, though. We couldn't, we couldn't afford to. We, we ran out of money at London Paddington. You know, uh, London Waterloo's, the WH Smiths there are very expensive compared to the rest of the railway. They are, that pasty there, that's like our entire day's wage. I know. It's ridiculous. Railway men don't get uh, paid properly anymore, do they? Nah, it's just a travesty. Right then, Sam. For the first time in our streaming history, are you ready? I'm ready, right away. Right away. I probably ought to take the handbrake off first. And the idea of the week goes to... <laughs> <laughs> there you go, handbrake's off. We're ready to go. So you can give us a whistle if you want. There we go. Let's do this. Nothing happens. 
Uh, yeah, there will be a bit of a delay on reg. There is from, quite a delay. Uh, advanced lurker. This is an incredibly advanced lurker. So you guys have probably all been on Bossman Games website by now and bought this because it came out yesterday. So um, it's probably the most advanced lurker that has been released so far for train So everyone's saying sabotage the game. Now, I'm not going to sabotage it deliberately, but I'll probably end up doing it by lag. Yeah, most likely. Also, the fact that I can't actually see the fire mass or water level. Um, you've got 0.9 in the boiler water level. Right. Well, we're going to be going off the gate class, so that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. I would recommend, based on my driving of this engine so far, um, putting the, re the injectors on early. Yeah. So when it's about point eight or point seven, then start the injector. And I think, as well, as we're going to have to do little and often injectors. Yep. We're going to have to try and do it as realistically as possible. So there's a 15 mile an hour speed limit just as we get out of London. You already on the shovel? Um, if the doors are open. Yeah, the doors are open. Just there we go. Down, you have to hold the R button to um, yeah. the shovel. Which, you know, you can do when there's two of you doing it. Shut the drain taps. Hang on, I'm just going to uh, turn the volume down a sec. Right. People have said the, the game volume is very loud. This is a really weird thing to watch. There you go, Nathan. I've turned Train Sims volume down a bit. Getting back from that shovel. Time to wind it back. Wind it with about 60% reverser. Oh, we've got Mr. Bossman Games himself in the live stream, chaps. He's going to be watching the live stream of judgment, very judgmentally, I think. He's going to be watching as we just make a massacre of his beautiful new engine. Well, when we end up doing an ine inevitable Blue Peter wheel slip out of London. Well, I 165 think it's miles that. an hour on the wheels. Yeah, it, it's... This is like the equivalent of having someone driving your engine from, you know, back at the station or something. I'm not sure what's going on with the smoke particles here, but we got a cab full of steam right now. Well, that's probably me gassing us out with a fire. What have you done? <laughs> we got steam <laughs> everywhere. Oh, have you opened the dampers, by the way? Um, I've opened one of them, I don't know about the other. Uh, you only need the back one open, I think. Well, I've held down M and it says they're open on the hood, so... Yeah, should be alright. Not like we have a hood to look at. Yep. 15 miles an hour, I'm just going to wind it back a bit further. Yep. Um, I'd say with the reverser, once we get on to sort of open line, go for full reg and just wind the reverser back until we stop losing steam. I think we're almost in the high speed. Yep, we're in the 50 section, so reg through the roof time. Power! What's this fire mess at? Uh, 12.30, so I'd stop shoveling. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, the, the sky is pretty, um, the sky is pretty, uh, bright, isn't it, for you to see the, uh, the fire mess. Yeah, I, I can't actually see the hood at all. Oh, David Seward is in the, uh, video chat. He says, remember the day on the... Mid-Hans Railway with Plan Line and Wellington. Yes, I do indeed remember that. Nathan says, reg through the roof and it can stay there until Portsmouth. I like the sound of that. What's the button for frame rates? I, can't, I can never remember it. 
Me neither. No. I think it's like Control Z or Control Shift Z or something. Honestly, don't know. Because <laughs> I think each as as we move further away from London Waterloo, we're going to start getting better frame rates. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, shift Z, okay, shift Z, that's it. Right now we're getting 14 frames a second. God, it's like I'm on my own computer. I know. <clears throat> it'll only be for the first 20 minutes or so, and hopefully it'll, uh, hopefully it'll disappear after that. Because I remember I did a race on this route before, and I had, like, pretty much the same frame rates as, the, as this. And then, yeah. Uh, but it does get better. I'm just going to wind it back a bit further. As the speed right. increases, what's our boiler pressure? 220 falling rapidly. Excellent. You need to wind it back more, then. I'll wind it back to 30% cut off. Yeah, you've got to drive a bit of stuff for pressure. You're at 0.68 boiler water level now. Right, so the injectors should have just come on. Yeah, and the boiler uh, pressure is hey. emerging. Legibly. The only thing is, I think, because we shoveled a lot of coal on the fire, we got thick black smoke now. Um, yeah, be right. <laughs> it's the Yorkshire way to fire. It'd be right. Oh, we re we um, really are losing steam sound. Right, injectors are off then. So I, I'm going to have to say we're going to have to do little and often until the fire gets burning properly. Have we got all the ejectors set right? Yeah, it's either on or off, they work um, perfectly. You no, know. not the ejectors, the ejectors. Oh, the ejectors off, it's turned that off. I was going to say, we want the little... Uh, the small little ejector. ejector. Yeah, and we want the large one shut. I can hear the injector coming on again. Yep. We're at 41 miles an hour, let's see. It's a 60 mile an hour limit, so we're just pushing up the speed a bit more. I'm just going to ease back on the reg a touch. Yeah. Just until that fire gets burning. I think we're approaching Clapham Junction. Even though we've already gone through it. I don't know, it, it's all foreign to me. Um, Bossman Games is asking if the front damp is open. No, it's shut. Uh, right, which one's front damper? I is don't that remember the keyboard control. <laughs> Let's have a look. What Yeah, control M, so, ah, uh, Reese. What? You'll have to open it. Sorry? You'll have to open the front damper. How do you do it? What button? Control and M. Control and M. Yeah, that's why I can't do it. Right, I've just opened it. Right. That should help it a bit. Yeah, we're really down the frames. We're down to 150 pounds, we need, um, gonna have to stop injecting for a little while until that fire burns through. Uh, injector should be off now? Yeah, it is. Just let it, I'm gonna ease back off the reg a bit more. We're at 43 miles per hour, but we just, we gotta get that boiler pressure back round. Stop playing with your whistle! <laughs> so as you can probably tell already just from the first few minutes guys, that this is actually quite challenging that we've really got to communicate with uh, Yep. I mean it is a limitation of train sim is certain key commands don't work for Sam. So he has yeah, to Yeah, we've had little 
we've had a little play around with it and basically I can only use one key at a time which is why I'm having a go at firing rather than driving I've got this gut feeling that we've completely overfired it nah I'll be right <laughs> what's the fire mass at? 1135 just leave, let it burn a bit more yeah yeah um, let us know when it gets to 950. Alright. And I'll fill it up to 1050 and then we'll let it burn through back to 950 again and repeat. We're at 0.5 in the boiler, so let it go down a little bit further. But the boiler pressure is coming back nicely. We're well, that 5 in the boiler can drop to about a third. The steam generation rate has just gone flying up, and I'm assuming that that's because the... Um, the front damper is open, so it's really helping the steam generation, that's good. Yeah, well we'll be getting the wind up through the fire rather than from behind it. Yeah. It's like having an air scoop on your car, rather. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say you can put the injector back on now if you want. Right. Because the boiler pressure is flying up. What's the slow curb blow off at? Uh, about 2.20 I think, 2.25, something like that. Right. Um, when we get up to 2.15, give us a shout. Okay. And that's when I'll get us. I'll stick them on about then and then knock it back down from 5, 10 PSI and let it build up again. 50 mile an hour limit for Clapham Junction. Give them a 2 as we go through. These frame rates are terrible. Yep. It um, may be to do streaming there. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's um, this is a three thousand pound laptop, and we're getting fourteen frames a second. This is a bit depressing. Yeah. I, I don't know what's worse, that or the fact that this is normal for me. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's uphill from Clapham Junction. Ah, it's a good job we know what we're doing with fire isn't it? We're in a 75 mile an hour zone now. Which injector are you using, by the way? Um, I've no idea. Oh, which which buttons did you use? O and L. O and L. Yeah, I think that's the. Uh, try the I and K one instead. See if that. Oh no, that's made it worse. But whatever. <laughs> it just might it might pump water a bit quicker. I'll stuck the other one back in. Fifty percent is actually fine for the boiler water level. Uh, boss man games is saying now that the pressure is rising, coast for a minute and let the pressure come up, you should be able to go along with an injector open and still blow off. Pressure is two fifty. Alright, well I'll tell you what, I'm gonna shut the reg for a minute then, because we're up to forty six miles now. Let's get some steam back. Yeah. Bear in mind, everybody's probably judging us right now, but this is a. Uh, well, they're both live injectors on a believe no exhaust injector. I'm glad he mentioned that because I was about to ask. If you want, stick both injectors on, Sam, because we're, uh, we're coasting right now. Let's get some water back in there. Yeah. When we get to 240 PSI, let us know and I'll work the injectors from there. Alright. Now see, all we need is for Dovetail Games to build this into the game itself. What's that? This functionality we've got at the moment. Yeah, it shouldn't have to be for team year. This is something which could have been done in, in the core game, couldn't it? Yeah. I think certainly with advanced locos it works quite well. Right, we're almost at point 0.6 in the boiler. Yeah, we'll let it go up a little bit more. We'll go to point 0.7 and cut it off there. It's just we are losing steam pressure quite rapidly. How rapidly? Um, we're now at 164. Yeah, we're right. Yeah, shut them off just for a bit because it comes back super quick. 
I mean, look, it's, it's flying up now. It's already at 174. Right, in that case, there's one inject, oh, there, one injector on. Okay, the pressure's still rising. That's good. Yeah. Well, we're around ideal for fire LM. 1,092 1, pounds. Yeah. Don't burn coal as quick as I thought it would. Earlsfield platform one, we're just passing through, so I'm going to start opening the reg back up a bit. Yeah. We'll work around. Losing steam now. Right, injectors are off one. Oh, there's a few people asking about the Merchant Navies um, in terms of names. Um, this class of locomotive was basically named as a tribute to all the Merchant Navy companies that during the Second World War, they served in the North Atlantic convoys. So, for example, Clanline was a shipping company. They owned a bunch of ships and they served to, on the convoys running cargo between North America, uh, Canada, and back to Britain to help with the war effort. Um, and all the companies that were took part in that campaign were honoured by the Southern Railway really, and then BR by having these locomotives named after them. And it's um, it is a fitting tribute, I think. Because yeah. A lot of people don't realise how many men and women actually lost their lives on merchant ships. It was actually uh, far more sailors died on merchant ships than soldiers did on the front lines. Oh god, we're at 240 pounds. Injectors are going on yeah. then. Whack them on, I'm sticking the reg through the roof. We're near to um, ideal fire mass now, aren't we? 1074? Yeah, we're blowing off, get them injectors on. Go on. we still got thick black smoke, so the fire is still chucking out a lot of extra carbon. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll stick some more coal on when we get to 950. Um, I was thinking about that, perhaps a thousand, because it's at 1068. Right. I'll let you know when it gets to 1054. Hey! Hey! We literally have potato frame rates again. It might be because you're streaming to both me and YouTube. Yeah, maybe. But, I don't know. To be fair, this is kind of an experiment. So. This is an experiment. Just to see if you can work. Are both of the injectors on? Uh, they should be. Turn them off for a minute. Huh. Give us a sec. Whoops. Now why isn't that doing anything? Ah, oh, there we go. That's me. That's you. I don't know why they're not working for you. I've just stuck a thing on. We've lost a lot of water. No, we're down at 0.4, it's fine. Right, I think I've got my keyboard controls back. How can you I'll tell? Or sh uh, are they open or shut at the moment? The valves are still open. Right, so I press that. I heard something shut off. Oh, now something's happening. Right. Is that injecting? Yeah, I think so. We're losing steam again. That's everything off now, is it? It should be. Is the tender water level going down? Nope, it's staying steady. Right, everything's shut then. Let's 
going to say, just try putting one injector on because the boiler pressure is coming back up. That should be one on. Yeah, we'll just, just leave one on. Tell you what, this is definitely a challenge. Well, we're up to 54 miles an hour. Yeah, we're getting there. The smoke is a little bit less black now. Yeah, only 17 pounds to go. Tell you what, I'll go for LMS firing method little on often. That will never do. That's not the LMS way, is it? Well, LMS way is little and often. You put um, nine chevaux fours on generally, um, in sort of a three at the front, three in the middle, three in the back type thing. Yeah. But in train, so you don't have that luxury. Hey, here's a question: Has the firebox door shut? Let me just double check for you. Ah! <laughs> yes, it has it. Well, why do the keyboard commands for shutting that work, but the ones for the reverser won't? Now that's a good question I don't know the answer to. Because I've got a old shift F to shut the fire. We've got white race smoke now, I'd say let it burn down a little bit more. Yeah, I didn't st Oh, Highland Winter Wolf has just donated. He said, how do you look at performing so far? It seems like a very advanced control setup. Yes, it is. Thank you very much for the super chat. It is indeed a very complicated setup. And we're making it even more complicated by throwing our uh, multiplayer thing into the mix. Yep. So, yeah. We are getting crappy frame rates still. I was hoping they would have improved a bit by now. Yeah. We'll have to have a look and see if there's any way we can reduce the settings. Right, I'm going to have to cut off the reg. What's his water level? 0.3. It just keeps falling. Fifty-seven miles an hour. I'm gonna have to just keep bringing it back just to get more water in. Yeah. Oh, I'm cutting it completely. We're gonna coast for a bit. Right. Sticking the other injector on. Look! 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 Steam usage rate is way higher than the generation rate, and the reg is shut. Yeah, I've got both injectors on. Well, that's one of them off. We're not doing so great. <laughs> We're not doing terrible, though, all things considered. Aiden Strand is saying performance mode is control shift B. We've already tried that. Yeah, it's already turned on. Wait, so we are right to switch to the fireman side? Yeah. Just because I can keep a better eye on the um, display there. 
Uh, yeah, we're not doing ideal, are we? Can you see that a lot better? Yeah. I'm going to crack the drag open a bit. See if we can draw the fire a bit. Yeah. Well, blower's cracked open, but obviously that's the drafting comes from chin, so... Right, boiler pressure's coming flying up. Yeah. I'll wait injectors we get on. And then I'll stick the uh, injector on. Stick both of the injectors on. All the pressure's flying up. Can't it really, isn't it? There we are, that's both injectors on. And now it's going back down again. Yeah, that's awesome. Kind of feels like that episode of Top Gear where they drive in tornado and they're like, where's the water gone? It does a little bit. Steam generation rate just fell through the floor again. Yeah, I've opened fire odor and sticking curl on. Oh, oh I should be. Yeah, fire doors open. Whoa! That's amazing when you shut the fire hole door, the uh, steam generation rate just goes flying through the roof. <laughs> the fire doors open. Do, is that intentional or? Is the fire mass going up? No. Hmm. Are you holding on? Yes. I'm just doing it for you there. Um, try holding down F. Yeah. Because I'll fully open out. Uh. It's fully open. Right, let's try holding down F again. Ah, there we go. They must have been open properly. Are you doing that now, are you? Yeah. Probably doing. Yeah, that'll do. Injectors, eject! <laughs> there we are, I'm starting to get the hand of it now. Tell you what, though, this is definitely the most realistic experience I've had in Trainson. Yeah. How far from Portsmouth are we? 61 That's hours. That's not me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hampton Court Junction. I think we got a nice long bank on here. <laughs> Yeah. Time. Also, yeah, I'm definitely getting the hand of these injectors now. I'm just going to go forward a bit. I'd say, um, notch the reverser back, but open the reg up. Yeah. 
Well, I try and go for full reg and then a low reverser. Alright, let's reg through the roof and bring the reverser right back. Bring it back to 15% and see what happens. Yeah. We're about to blow I'd, off as well. I try and drive it just off the um, reverser if you can. Speed's going up, so we're doing well. We're starting to get the hang of it now. We're getting there. Sorry about not talking to everyone in the chat too much struggling to concentrate. This is actually taking uh, quite a lot of skill. It's definitely difficult. I'm trying to keep an eye out for signals as well. Yeah. Well, this is definitely the most realistic firing experience I've had with an opening train sim. It does take quite a lot of, um, well, thinking about, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, that's so, too long. Might not be perfect like that. Sounds like you're having fun with the fire door. I'm just holding down F until it stops clamming. Plus on the delay, it's a bit laggy. Are the injectors on? Yeah, we're on the verge of blowing off. We're blowing off. Oh. Well, we can soon fix that. I'd say what it sort of seems is because the pressure seems to be up and down really, really quick. Yeah. We were sticking the injector on when we're about to blow off. Let it drop down to just about. 210, 200 or something, and then just let it build back up. Yeah, it's what I'm trying to do, but the keyboard was um, the most responsive. No, the keyboard's not helping, is it? Yeah. But it's working. Oh, so at boiler water level is at 0.43 ish, so we do need to get some water on. No, I can slow the dropping. I don't know how much further it is to the uh, slope. 
Are we on the flat or going up a hill? We're on the flat right now. Uh. Bossman Games is racing us. He's just gone through Rains Park at 67 miles an hour. Well, well, it's probably going to be us, but we are amateurs. We're so amateurs, yeah. Also, oh, yeah, that boiler water level is getting a little bit on the low side. That shit. Is it, sir? Do I have injectors on? We are building up speed slowly, though, so that's good. Just passed through New Weldon at 69 miles an hour. I got no yeah. idea where that is. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Got 13 coaches on. Yeah. This was a bit ambitious. Hey, we're getting better frame rates. We're now getting 15 frames a second. Uh, it's just like my own computer. Boss man saying, are you looking forward to the 180 climb to Hazelmere? Yeah. 180? Well, considering we're on the flat and we've failed miserably so far, I don't think. Uh, I don't know how good we're going to do. And we've not failed miserably, but we're performing adequately. We've just got to get more bloody water in, haven't we? Yeah. That's Which I'm trying to do that, but you can watch the boiler pressure just plummeting. Right, I'm going to ease off the reg. Right. Just eased right off the reg. Right. Do you know, I kind of thought maybe this, you know, doing it in team view and having two people controlling it. Might make it a little bit not easier, but just you know, share the workload a little bit. It, it sort of doubled it instead, haven't it? It's kind of doubled the workload because I'm kind of having to check everything, and I think you're having to check everything. And yep. Well, I mean, it is to be fair, it is the first time we've tried doing it, so. I wasn't yeah, and we've not done the easiest thing to start it with, have we? Yeah, no, we've probably jumped in at the deep end. I'm still injecting, but we're at 0.3 on the boiler water level, so... But it hasn't... The highest it's gone for ages is 0.5. Yeah. It and we don't really it to so drop the drop on it, because that's a third of a glass that's getting worryingly low. Yeah. I mean, by rights, really, I should be slowing and coasting. Yeah, but issue is most of your um, drafting comes from your exhaust. Yeah. Well, I'll 
wind it right back again. Right. I'd wind it back to 10%. Let's see how you feel with that. the reg works like the black five you need to shut it and open it again. I guess you need to hold shift and try again. Oh no, we've got AWS. What? It's only it's just the, the green signal. As long as it's all green, that's fine. They've been going all the way. Well, I've only just noticed that shows how much I've been paying attention. Okay. Hooray! The train sit guy is catching us up. Yeah, that's fine. We are starting to get there with a boil of water level. Just past the M25. Yeah, we're just approaching by fleet. Sam, stop oh. playing with the whistle. <laughs> Apparently we need the, the reverser needs... Oh, why is the reverser at 70%? How did that happen? I have no idea, Reese. I guess it must have just worked its way up. Did you not have the lock on? The lock should be on. Oh, lever in 40%. Oh, I'd explain why we were hemorrhaging pressure. Apparently I left the lock off. I, I, it should automatically reset. We're down to point 0.2 of boiling water pressure. Boiling and the engine. Yeah. What's going on with the cap view? That's because I had shift held down because we were closing the fire door. We're going to have to... Uh, I feel we're just going to have to shut the reg and get some steam and get some water in, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, I'm shutting the reg. I know it comes from the drafting, but... I've got both injectors on now and the blower should be fully open. Just gonna have to coast. Yeah, we're just gonna have to drain the boiler. There's no other way. Well, I mean, we could just not put any water in and blow up. Just had an AWS alarm. Double yellow. Yeah. Spammed Q out of instinct then. <laughs> Gonna have to do a bit of driving because it looks like we've got some signals up ahead. Oh, we're approaching Woking, so we could do a station stop at Woking. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah. Not because we're completely panicking about the boiler water level, but because it was a completely planned station stop. 
Yeah, that's exactly where we were planning on stopping. What's the speed limit? 40. I'll let you try and slow down for a stop. over at the head. That's what my AWS was for, for the crossover. Yeah. I've taken one injector off to let the boiler pressure rise up a bit again, but... Three of a mile. I don't think we're going to make the station there, Reese. What do you mean? We're going a bit quick for a stop, aren't we? No. <laughs> no, he says, dumping the brake. Just swap over the other side. Weird. Oh, it's such a weird thing having the camera swap on you. Yep. Right, six coach stop, is it? Six car stop, eight car stop. Where's the one for uh, 12 car stop? I don't know if there is one for 12 car. We're just going to have to yeah. do our best. Signal. Signal is at yellow, right? Yeah. Well, that's good enough reason to stop. Are both injectors on now? Yep. We'll try and get engine up uh, close as we can to ideal conditions and then set off again. I can have a lot planned and timetable yeah. they should stop. Right then, um, I think we'll just have a quick walk around the local while we're stopped. Yeah, let's check our oil pots and the like. we we'll do a bit of oiling. Take all the little, uh, get the oil can out, oil up the big ends. I've messed around with some setting because I think my white colours are really bright. Yeah. And it looks horrible. Yeah, the contrast is quite high, isn't it? Because I was messing around with the contrast earlier. Let's try that. Try dropping the just a bit. Uh, it's made everything a bit grey, but it's... That'll do. Maybe try turning down the sunlight intensity. Didn't I try that earlier? That's helped a bit. There you go. So we got 172 pounds. That should be going up because we're just injecting on one. What I'd say is when we set off this time, let's just try and keep one injector going. Well, it's what I've been trying to do as much as I can. Just try and leave an injector on if we can. Right, let's uh, get back in the cab and I'll put the handbrake on. Let's get a cup of tea, Pod. Yeah, we'll go to the support coach now and get a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea. 
That is the wonderful idea. It's been stressful, that journey. That's the most stressful journey I've done in trade sim. <laughs> oh, trying to do it realistically would make it harder. Oh. <laughs> Cock. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I tell you what, the cab of this machine does look good. Aye. I think I'm going to have to open up the, the roof vent. It's getting a bit hot and stuffy in this cab. Here's with all this work we're doing. It's time for that pasty, I think. Nice pasty and a cup of tea. Uh, sounds good. Although you didn't bring a Cornish pasty, you brought a Yorkshire pudding, didn't you? Yep. Just one gigantic Yorkshire pudding. It's a, it's a Yorkshire pudding surprise. It's one big one filled with lots of medium-sized ones, which are all <laughs> filled with little ones. <coughs> well, so it's like toad in the hole, but with a massive Yorkshire pudding and gravy and floating Yorkshire puddings in the middle of it. Ah, uh, bliss. The train sim guy is stopped at Woking with full boiler pressure and fire. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. stop gloating. Stop gloating. Stop right. um, it is actually a lot easier driving and firing on your own than it is trying to do both with someone else. I think if, if the controls were working better, it would it would be a lot better. And oh, I yeah. I don't think it's Team View and I don't think it's the Merchant Navy. I think it's just train sim being a, a git. Yeah, I think you're right, because, like we said, some of them have worked fine. So I think what we should do is try, you know, like another loco, a non-advanced loco sometime, and just see if we yeah. have the same problems. Yeah, I think so. How are we looking with pressure and the like? Uh, pressure, we're about to blow off, so that's good. And get the injects on, really press fill that boiler. Yep. We're getting there, though. Yeah, we are. How do these um, gauge glass drains work? Let's see if we can get um, them. You shouldn't have to fiddle with them, but... Yeah, but you know me, I like to play with things. Oh, it's been that long since I've done a turn, I can't remember order. I think it's bottom, middle, top. There's no water in the glass. That's probably because you've just fucked around with it. No, but there's water now. Well, try, try, open the bottom one and then the top ones. And it should drain. Yeah, that's drained. Yep. And then it should come back straight away. Yep. And then if you open that now, and then you close it, it should stay gone. Yeah. That's quite cool. Let's drain that out. Let's try another view. Reese? You see, we've got a bring, What have we got? We've got a full boiler and the pressure is rocketing. Let's go. Yep, shall we go then? Let's go, let's go, let's right, go, let's go. We're going to have to take the handbrake off. We're going, that's it, we're going. Do you want to try driving? Yeah, sure. Go on in. Right away, driver. It's a 40 mile an hour speed limit just out to Woking. I just opened the drain cox for you. Lovely job, And I'll put her in full forward for you. And we're blowing off. While I'm pressing the air key. Yeah, it's going. Get... It's going. There Jeez. must be quite Go. a bit of delay in the rig from your control. Yeah. Right, I'm going to try little and often, and I'm going to try uh, keeping the boiler high. Because you're, you're going to basically just have to the regulator through the roof, I think. Well, yeah, obviously.
We're at £270 per square inch. Are you alright to open the reverse lock, please? Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's open. You can wind it back now. Spam Q, spam Q. <laughs> Do you need to wind back a bit more? Yeah, wind it back to around 30%. So as you see, fuel is around 30%. So as you see for everybody watching the stream, let's, uh, look how juttery the control oh. is. It's, uh, okay, I've, I've locked it again. Lovely gibbler. So I've got an injector yeah. open. Just trying to keep the boiler as full as I possibly can this time. Yeah. But she's lifting off with the speed quite nicely. Yeah. See if we can fare any better with the rose reverse. What with me me on the shovel and you on the sticks. Yeah. So we're just, oh, we're in a 40 mile an hour zone, and then we're about to enter a 90. So we'll nearly Love be that. nearly be all the way here. Oh, Felicia you should just take a forget there, uh, take care of yourself like this. Hopefully. Right, injector off. I'm just going to keep letting the boiler pressure come down to, you know, from blowing off to 210 and just keep pouring water in as and when. Yeah, I think that's the best way to work it. So I think we've probably learned from the mistakes now for the first section from London to Woking. Let's hope we can uh, do better this, on this bit. See if we do any better with the rows reversed. And it for, for about 30 seconds. Oh, excellent. I was going to say, because I'm actually getting... Um, I'm actually getting... Uh, oh, the, Good live, train. the live stream has uh, had a massive lag spike. Well, that is really interesting, because the live stream and me lagged at the same time. So I'm getting about 20 frames a second on the, on the game now. So I think the streaming is definitely having an effect, man. I think so. It does seem to be the internet speed seems to be restricting a lot of this. Yeah. yeah. Um, stick some rock on fire. Stick them. Yeah, I'll put a bit on. Take it up to around 10.40, 10.50 and then let it drain down again. It's only a few shovelfuls. Just chuck a couple of rounds on the back corners and shut the door. Little and Hi. often. God, we're at 45 miles an hour. We actually, we're doing it, Sam. We're doing it. Sam, I just realised what's about to go wrong. We're going to come up to like 1 in 80. I'm looking at the 1 in 80 right now. Oh no. <laughs> you know what, Reese? I'm not worried. You're not worried? I'm not worried. Are you worried? Yeah. That'd <laughs> yeah, be right. Be right, be right, be right. My injector's off. We're gonna fly up this hill. Although we are making steam, we're still accelerating, so I don't mind losing a bit of speed as long as we maintain the speed. Yeah. How long is this hill? I don't know. Long, long drawn out there, I think. Oh, but yeah, full reg. We're at full reg. Injectors going on. We're nearly down to a thousand pounds on fire. I'm going to shovel a little bit them up in there as well. Yep. Oh my god, this is actually... Uh, it seems to be working now, Sam. Yeah, we're accelerating again. Uh, it's seven, so it's only a baby hill. It's only a baby hill. It's not like Shap or Beta or Londra. Oh. 
I was just going to say perhaps we should try this off shaft. Oh look, there's, there's another hill. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Bahamas on shaft or settling Carlisle. Or... Do you know what, though? I'm not having to touch the leg or the reverser here. No, she should find her own way up this hill now. It's just man managing the boiler pressure is going to be the challenge. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm not the injectors off. Yeah. But see, as soon as I knock the injector off, the boiler pressure goes flying back up. Yeah, so but when the boiler pressure goes up, we gain speed. So as, soon, as long as I'm sort of little and often with the injector, you know, just bringing yeah. it back from when she's about to blow off, and then bringing it down to like 220 or something, then she's gonna yeah. keep uh, she's gonna keep the speed up. Well, less than half a mile away from the summit. Uh, stick injectors on again. Yeah, we got this, Reese. We've got it, mate. We got this. Hopefully, going down this side, we can get some speed on the hill. Hi. It'd be nice to finally see this thing up at speed. <laughs> How fast? We've probably got to about 55 miles an hour at the maximum so far. Yeah, I'd say we've been averaging in the high 40s. Which, to be perfectly honest, is not too bad for his first time trying to work together. See, this is what I wish more games would do nowadays, co-op play rather than competitive. Yes. Like, not just train steam, but just games in general. Yeah, we're gaining speed now down to Guildford. Oh, come uh, on! Look. Five. 25 miles an hour speed limit through Guildford. Reach, you're going to have to do the braking because it's going to be too laggy on my end for it. Are you kidding me? We finally get over the hill, we finally get some speed, and now I've got to dump the brakes. Yep. Oh, come on. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll take over the driving just for a minute then. Yeah. Swap over then. Yeah, okay, I've got the car. Um, I'd say probably leave the reverse where it's at. Yeah, I'll get a leader. Shut the Which injector were you using, by the way? Eleanor. Eleanor. I can't believe this. We finally get some speed. And we've got to take it all off. I can believe it. Also, I have no idea what my fire and boiler is at. Hmm. Yeah, Your fire mass is at a thousand pounds. Ah, right. We're going through road number four. Okay, my brakes have stopped working. Okay, they're back. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Reese, I do not want to be killed by you. Yeah, you do. Well, not on a southern worker. On an LMS only, is it? Yeah. I mean, a Midland man dying on a Southern Lurker, it's like a Viking dying without his axe. Well, he doesn't get to go to Valhalla. Yeah! Well, they're down to 26 miles an hour for the... Uh... Oh, we're almost there. Just passing through Guildford. Right. we got a full head of steam. Loveless. Whenever I open the fire road on my end, it just did. Oh, I think we got a big tunnel coming up. So be oh, ready no. to shut the fire door. Shut the fire doors! 
Shut the fire door! Shut! Shut I'm the shitting. fire door! Shut the fire door! Shut it! <laughs> Is it shut? Well, I assume so, because we haven't had a fatal blowback yet. Whew. I'm going to open up the reg. I think we're back in the uh, fast section. Let's have a look. Yeah, 60. Yeah. Do you want to swap back again? Yeah, I'll take over the um, firing. You have the car. What? I'm such a shippy person, saying you have the car. Let's have a look at the cab in the, in the tunnel. Oh. Fair, what we're doing here is switching round. You wouldn't really do on the main line. No. Well, not anywhere. You wouldn't be doing that, I know, but what can you do? You might say, do you want to drive for a bit, but you wouldn't be swapping back and forwards all the time? No. But you know what, I mean, we are new at this mainline rail tour operations game, you and me. Yep. It's like relearning everything you know from scratch. Apparently we can gun it now from here. Excellent. How far have we got to go? 43 miles. Each year, 50 minutes. Cool. I reckon we can cut at that time. Well, I just started shoveling in a tunnel. That was probably not my best. But... <laughs> Turn out. Yeah. Over the hill. Reese has a fatal blowback. And Sammy, it's a Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> and the train down. I think that we've managed to find the local sweet spot almost. Yeah, we're getting there. I mean, so we're far, the. Um, I was just going to say, like, the reasons that we've had to slow down and lose all our speed so far is because of Guildford. We'll get it back again. 100% reg, 35% reverser. Never fails. The train sim guy did have a major code brown move. <laughs> Warning, code brown, code brown. Uh, so did we, we now have spilt all the gravy. I know. I'm just sticking the injector on. I think we just took part of that bridge out. Probably. We haven't actually done any gauging runs for this route, have we? Eh, yeah, be right. If you don't fit, keep going and you'll fit. <laughs> that sounds like the, uh, when they had 4200 on the mid Hans Railway. Oh, actually it was a 5205. Or uh, Alton Hall on the um, West Highland. Oh. Is that the one where they had to uh, cut away the other platform to fit through? Probably. I think that's happened a few times in railway preservation. Yeah. Oh wow, we've used like 2,000 gallons of water. Yep. I I'd do apologise for the frame rates, everybody. It's not been the most um, glamorous looking stream this one. Yeah, but I think we've still kept it interesting. I think we should try it, try this on the Pennock Valley Railway or something. Yeah. If we do it on a preserved railway, maybe the frame rates would be better to make it a bit more enjoyable. Yeah. Right. Maybe a left engine as well. Yeah. Injectors off. You're pushing up the speed still, so we're at 50 miles per hour. Yep, she's going to climb slow and steady on her own here. I'm going to do a bit of shoveling. We're almost at farm, farm cone. Well, is it a 70 and not a 20, right? Uh, yeah, 70. Oh, that's fine. We're limited to 75 anyway, so fine. We're limited to whatever speed we can get to reach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> whatever we can do. But on the bright side, we haven't had to kick any passengers off yet. 
No, we haven't dumped any coaches. I was kind of expecting to dump that observation coach by now. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Injectors on. I'm trying to let the boiler pressure go back up as close to the line, the red line as I can, but without letting it blow off. Yeah, you just need to be careful because the boiler water has been slowly dropping. I know, it's it, it was at point eight and it's just steadily been going down. Even though I'm yeah. I'm injecting little and often, but it's not quite keeping up with it. Yeah, it's the same issue I had. I might have to use both injectors. Yeah, issue is we drain out pressure then. I'm going to let the fire burn a bit while we inject. Right. Is Sam playing music on the whistle again? <laughs> oh, we need to do it with a great western loco. I can do it on a... What station is this? This is Gullbarn And um, We're going through at a reasonable speed. 60 miles an hour, the limit is 60, so it's the first time that we've actually hit light speed. Hey! I'm just going to whack all the injectors on, see if I can get as much water in as I can. Yeah. When we get closer to line speed, I'll um, let off a bit. Oh my god, the boiler pressure just disappeared. Yeah, I know. It's got to be the quickest rise and fall in boiler pressure I've seen on a Lorca, in Trenton at least. But I don't know if that's just the way we're firing it. What's that ETA? We're getting, we're getting less and less with that ETA. And we've topped 60. I'm still not overly happy about this boil of water level. Yeah, it's difficult to keep on top of. Tell you what, when we hit 70 I'll shut off. Oh cheers. Oh, actually, yeah, that has gone down quite a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, we've just lost all our boiler water. Mm. Well, I'll we'll shut off now. I'll just a uh, little bit. We've got both injectors on. Well, we are doing a decent speed now, so we... Uh, Doing all right. Yeah. Water level's just coming back up. Is good. What gradient? Are we on? Oh, that would be right. Hey. You need the speed, you need the steam. Let's have a look at what the hill does, one in if it one. goes... 1 in 82. Yeah, alright. Let's drag it. Plus the boiler pressure is coming back up, so I'll be able to inject again in a minute. Oh, rag.
Right, once we go through its station, it's downhill. Yeah, we'll be on the coast downhill then. We've lost all our speed, Sam. Yeah, I know, Reese, but it's more important to not blow up. That's true. Not much more important, mine, but just slight. Our first class Pullman passengers have paid a lot of money for this and they're getting a barely adequate experience as it is. I know. That would probably not make them too happy. I tell you what this reminds me of. Did you ever watch The Apprentice where Crime Line featured on The Apprentice? No, I didn't. Well, they did um, one of the episodes. They had to come up with like a luxury corporate day out. And, yeah, right. and the, the, their, their idea was that they came up with the, the Pullman train service um, and it looked quite good but like the alcohol and the food they provided was basically crap. Ah. Right, we need to have shut off. It should be downhill for a little bit here and then it's hill again, oh my god. I'm injecting. We're down to point three on the gauge. Yeah, but we are going downhill. Well, no, when we go uphill, because that'll just plummet. Or it'll rock it, rather. Well, I've got to admit, of all the issues we were going to have, I didn't think the boiling water level was going to be one of them. We just about hit the incline. Yep. Boiler water level. Is that at 60? Yeah, it's at 60 now, so I'm just going to let the boiler pressure come around a bit. But it's Ooh, a long cute. uphill climb. Yep. Well, I'm just going to do that. Bathroom to the middle. Yeah. Hopefully. This is the long uphill gradient now. Aye. Right, stop shoveling there. Shut the fire doors. Hopefully I can do a bit of injecting there. Um, Terry, you keep saying 40% cut off and full regulator, we're running at 35% cut off and full reg, so we're actually using a little bit less steam, um, and we're still struggling, so I don't think we're going to try up it from that. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting We'll be right. Or at least she's... If, oh, actually, try putting the reverse end up to 40, just see what happens. Uh, do you want to have a go at that? Just because it's easier on your end? I'll just stick it at 40% so see what happens. So she's at full reg, right? Yep. Yes, everybody, the, uh, the regulator's through the roof. So we now got the long uphill gradient. So I'm still injecting water. We've got a good fire, we've got the fire doors are shut. So she is working quite hard now. Indeed. I 
So I'm guessing it's a couple of miles of uphill gradient. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Reese, look on the bright side. But at least we didn't try, at least we didn't decide to try this out with a super deep. Yeah. Because we Could were going to do this with a super deep. Still slow it down. Yeah, boil the pressure's dropping a bit now. Right, I'll turn the injector off. no sign of getting over that hill. Hey, just like the real over the hills, there's no sign of it. I need to inject again. Yeah, yeah you'll put for a bit, yeah. Maybe we took too many coaches. We might have done, but we'll try and push it. We've got 13 heavy bullmans on. Yeah. What do I want to give for a duchess right now? Uh, injectors? Oh, uh, I don't want to lose that steam. It's alright, we only blew off for a moment. That's a shilling got from my wage packet. Yep, now you won't even be able to afford a cup of tea in a task. There goes my bacon sandwich we've got to port to my father. <laughs> she is not happy on this hill, is she? Or at least no, she's, but she's still going. She, yeah, she's not ground to a halt. Yeah. Just going to flick through all of you a second. No, don't drop the Pullman observation coach. No, I'm not going to. I'm just having a look at where we are. So you look at all those people, we couldn't possibly abandon all of them. Or, or could. Or could we? Lost Man Games has made it through Hazel Mirror at 44. So I'm going to claim the moral victory that two amateurs could come and take to this and succeed. When we get there, we, we might get there at two miles an hour, but we'll get there. Yep. Right, I'm going to shut off the injector. Right. We need more fire. She might need a little bit more rate reverser now. Yeah. Pop her up to 50. Okay, okay. Still no sign of getting over that hill. No, oh, it's a long hill drag, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, boss man games is here. He has one less coach than us. Yeah. It's he an also observation said, coach. Yeah. That's what it is. And those observation coaches—they're not light. They're quite heavy. No, but I have a feeling that that station may well be at the top of the hill. It is Hazelmere. Half a mile to go, Sam. We're gonna do it. We're gaining speed slowly, but we are gaining it. Inject it. Edward Priest is asking if I'll do another Grand Theft Auto 5 or. GTA 5 video or Euro Truck Sim. Chances are probably not now. Barely got the time for train sim stuff. And the other thing was um, Euro Truck Sim wasn't that popular on my channel. It was a good bit of fun at the time, but it never was really popular. And as for Grand Theft Auto 5, I just had so many problems with the copyright from the music. It just wasn't worth the hassle, so I just stopped it and took them all off YouTube. 
Right, I reckon we're about half a mile away from the summit. Yeah. But it is on. Well, as long as we're still moving. Which we are. She's finding her own way. Life finds a way. Uh, do you want the injectors? Yeah. Drain the boiler. Just because when we cross it over the summit of the hill, uh, that water level will go. Yeah, good point. I am. Whistle, don't you? I'm only pressing the button once. But it's just the lag lets me do it several times. Well we got a fair bit of water in um got a fair bit of water in there then. Yeah. Once we cross over the side of the hill and we start going down, we'll, we'll not reverse it down to 35 again. Yeah. Um, and then we should be good to run. Well, we're still going. Yeah, it reminds me of um, the LMS video advertising combination. Where uh, um, they had the four loco three or four lockers lined up for the um, launch of the engine. We had, I think it were Lion. Um, oh, Hardwick as well, wasn't it? No, it were Coronation, I think. The LNWR loco oh, and then the LMS one. And it starts off with Lion. It's like, Lion, however many years old, and still going. Albeit not strong, but going. <laughs> And I think that's us at the top of this hill. I think we're just cresting it now. 10 mile an hour, but we made it. Yeah. I like to keep injecting as well. Yeah. Uh, leave the injectors on, build up the pressure as we come down this hill. Uh, yeah, we'll wipe the reverser down. Down to 35? Yeah. Um, and then we'll just let her free in a bit. Yeah, she's just going to pick her own speed up now while we're uh, getting the pressure again. Yeah, we'll get that boiler water level filled up again. Just because that has dropped quite a bit now. Yeah, it's dropped substantially there. Do you know what I wanted to see simulated in train sim one day? What? You know, like, they've got it simulated so the boiler water level will change when you go up and down hills. I want to see them get it simulated so it changes when you open and shut the veg. Yeah, yeah. So, those in the veg does actually make a huge difference to the water level in the gauge glass. Oh, yeah. Well, it's about, what, a third of a glass at max? Difference in it. It's quite substantial, isn't it? Yeah. And there we are, we're finally getting the speed back again. Hey, Vince. Yeah. Get it over the hill. We got over the hills, yes. Joe Light Railway is asking if I had a garden railway, what gauge would I go for? Well, it's up to you entirely. What sort of interest do you have in garden railways? Do you want British standard gauge or do you want like British narrow gauge or do you want 
wanting European stuff. What sort of stuff do you want to model? Live steam, electric, battery, remote control? We've got virtually no water left in the boiler. Yeah, but you are still injecting, right? I just have to turn it off to get a bit more pressure back. Don't worry about the pressure. Just keep those buff, buff loads and injectors on. They're on. Yeah. We'll get that like, water level look as high as we can. Because we've got Hill Part 2. Hooray! Tell you what, I'm thinking, uh, you know we were saying like Super D on CKPR or Sharp? I'm thinking based on this we should write that one off, because that would be a nightmare. Yeah. I think we need to get a bit more experience of doing this first, don't we? Yeah. So, well, I don't think we've done bad for a first go. No, I think we've done alright, actually, for the first try. I'm going to let the curse through a bit. It's not a big hill. Bossman says, um, simulating the regulator raising the level is very doable, but there is no way of alerting the start, uh, altering the starter in water level of one. So when you set off, you prime instantly. Yeah. It's one of those um, restrictions based on train sim. Yeah. Hopefully now we can actually bring the boiler water level in. Hi. Oh, it's a, quite a long downhill gradient, so we don't need yeah. to use much steam so we can just keep injecting. Fairly easy. Yeah, I just inject as much as you can now until we get that water level up to around 0.7. Got both injectors on there. Yeah, it's a nice steady gradient for at least a mile. And once we get that level back up again, we'll open the up and go with it. How long have we got left to run? About half an hour. Yeah. down again now. It was out of the way, the panic's out of the way. Yeah. I'll leave her running at least so it's fairly easy going for a bit. Uh, and I'll try and get that boiler water level back up again. Yeah.
got a downhill grid coming up as well. Also. This injector's not going to work. Have you got both the water and uh, steam open yet? Oh, that's it. Yeah. operating session that we've done today is just further proof for me that we need multiplayer in this game. Yep, definitely. A proper working one with no, uh, with no delays and silly things like that. Yeah, it's been a bit buggy but it's definitely been the most fun I've had in Trainson and it's been the hardest I've had to work in Trainson as well. Yeah, I've really had to think about it. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what would be good, Lurice. What's that? It's endurance races, which we previously tried with simple locos. Oh god. Could you imagine trying to do the Great Western Main Line? Like with this? something like... Well, you'd have to stop two or three times to take on water. Yep. Oh god, that would be horrible. That would just be chaos. We should do it sometime. Yeah, why not? <laughs> well, the, the problem is with that room, is you just couldn't find any way to uh, put water towers down. You just wouldn't take on water, would it? Yeah, but it works for me. Oh, it worked for you, yeah, great. <laughs> oh, it's 65 miles an hour, Sam. Yeah, we're going downhill. You know what? We may even hit 75. Finally, we'll actually make uh, make it up to line speed. The question is, do I have to shut off and start braking at 75, or are we just going to let her run up to what she goes to? Yeah, just let her run. Lovely. The I speeder. Mean, when when you come off this, when you come off this grade, you can get a loser anyway. Yeah. Seventy-four. Eh, not bad. At least we can say we got to uh, mainline rail tour uh, speed. How far are we from Port We are twenty-two point seven miles. Yeah, that's not bad. Everybody's much further away than we are to be expected at this point. Yeah, but what does it matter? I'll tell you what, look, this just make me want an advanced industrial engine a lot more. Because so something like what we're doing now, but we're shunting operations, would just be absolutely fantastic. Well, we could probably do it with the um, mesh tools austerity. You know, the return to yeah. Mardi one? Yeah. If we give it a go, I'd be up for that one. Yeah. I think ideally we need locos that have got stuck in control by keyboard commands, rather than having to use the F4 hood. Yeah. Yeah, Bossman Games is in the chat. Would you ever look at doing anything industrial? Or small, I mean scale? More importantly, what are you working on next? Uh, I believe he's got a Stanley Emergo coming out. I know who's working on it. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, she's been uh, running along fairly nicely to say she's not really gunning it or anything. Yeah, I must be getting into a detailed area. Gotta admit though, I think Jared definitely made a poor choice really wouldn't to test this out on. That was not fun with rain rates. No. Well that's what I was kind of wondering about the Pinon Valley. Yeah. Because it's not the worst on frame rates. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. no, I think we're all right. I thought I saw double yellows at the head, but we're okay. Oh, there you are. Sam Bossman says it's unlikely you'd ever do an industrial logo. Nah, that's a shame. Great, Reese, we've got a hill we're going on now. Yeah, yeah I think we'll perhaps try Memory to Mardi or Return to Mardi in the um, 1970s if we do some shunting. Yeah. I think that's what we'll probably do for the next one of these footprint sessions and then we could do um, shunting at the colliery but then whenever whenever we're moving wagons around one of us is driving and the other is just like on for the ride but then moves the camera to pretend to be a shunter yeah something like that thank you yep <laughs> What signal is that, did you see? 70, 40 and a 70. Speed restriction. It's a mile away though, but... Are we going to slow down for it? Yeah, we'll shut off for it. We can stick both the... going. Going down to a 40 zone. You can break for it if you want. Okay. I'm just letting you end up breaking just because I didn't do it with lag. Yeah, go on, I'll take, I'll take the drive in. Ready to here. Switch to the other side so I can see hood. Have we got any injectors on at the moment? Um, no, I don't think so. Right. Completely failed it going up 40 days. Yeah, be late. Huh. I've supposedly got both injectors on at the moment and we're still blowing off. Well, that can't be right. Let's try turning that on. That one's definitely worse. Sometimes you just gotta like, try and turn everything off, from not you? Yeah. Back to the 70s and I'm 
where we are now we've got both on. And we're hemorrhaging steam. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> well at least you know it's working right. Uh, no, no more tunnels keep ahead? No. Fire more doors. Zerg. Yeah, I'll let you take over to drive everything for the last leg because we'll need you to do the braking at the end. Don't worry too much about the leg. I've got the. Uh, I've still got both injectors on. We're now just on one injector. Okay. Yeah, boiler pressure's gone down. How far have we got left to go? 14 miles. Yeah, that's enough to still take it cautiously. Seventy-five, Sam. Hey. Not bad to say we've only got a hundred and fifty PS by. I know. Who knew all you needed to do to get speed was just sacrifice your boiler? Who needs boilers? They're overrated. I am speed. Sorry, lightning, lightning McQueen. Well, there's a reskin for us. What? Merchant Navy into Lightning McQueen. Merchant Navy McQueen. <laughs> Still need to do my Super D reskin at some point. Well, every. Super, super, Superman, Super D. Well, so blue with the Superman logo. Yep. I want to give them um, Super Physics it as well, so you can have a Super, Super, Super. <laughs> I love how whenever like AWS goes off, you can just uh, click, 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 click. Well, I think that's just a default on, on this channel, isn't it? Just Q, 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 Q. Yep. Not actually check what the danger is, just spam Q. King Ori says Merchant Queen. Or Rich Merchant Squadron. Are you still injected? Yep. Just with one more. Uh... 
be you trying to shut the fire over there. Trying to open them. Oh god, we're actually speeding. Why are you? Speeding we did 70. We managed to speed. <laughs> You're having fun with them fire doors, aren't you? Bloody seven. That's a 50 coming up, isn't it? It is. You're gonna have to slow down. Uh, we're only about 10 minutes away. Yeah, when you start getting on the outskirts of Port enough, you start going through quite suburban areas. Start slowing it down now, then. Okay, okay, okay. That would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, someone's just said that in chat. Sir Nigel Gresler designed his air for with the speed of a greyhound and the strength of a boar. Well, I give you the speed of a greyhound, but it's not got the strength of a boar at all. The Air Force are sprinters, they're designed for speed, but they've not got the power. Now if you want true power... Let me guess. You want this. Let me guess. Well, it's a, it's a record holder for the most powerful steam locomotive in the country, so... LMS, the best way. I mean, why he said that? Down to 40. As we go up, we haven't. What's that boiler pressure reading? Is that 150 ish? 185 rising. Just passing through Havant. Again, really sorry about these frame rates. I thought they would have got a bit better, but they're just generally potato all the way. <laughs> Ah, uh, welcome to my world, Reese. What's the speed limit now? It goes up to 70, so we can open the taps a bit. Yeah, Reese, I think I've upset people in the chat by talking about LMS and saying LNER is bad. So, do you know what? To everyone in the chat, good, I'm glad you're upset. Sam doesn't give a hoot. No, I do not. Well, there's nothing more pleasurable in life than annoying Eleni at our fanboys. There are a couple of Eleni workers that I do like. Oh, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of nice ones, but it's just the whole... Flying Scotsman did 100 mile an hour. Mallard is fastest. Eleni Air is best. 
all I'm gonna say is uh, City of True World. Right. Yeah. And I'm one of the people that does actually believe Trevor could have done it. The thing is, like, I can't imagine being on the footplate of True Row when she did do it. I can. I mean, they must would have been, been able to move around the time. <laughs> yeah. But well, I do think it were achievable. Yeah. Fraternising with the Fratons. Fraternising with the Locus. I was actually, I was a bit un uncontrollable. Rebel Reef Back in the days when I was a drunken sailor. Was? I'm, I, I don't drink no more. Well, I occasionally have a beer, but... I really sausage don't, wine. I don't, a little bit of sausage wine, you know, with dinner. A little bit of sausage wine is enough to render most people unconscious. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Generally it's used as wallpaper stripper though, to be honest. It is quite an effective one as well. Well, it does leave a nasty stain on your wall. Hit the nail on the head with that comment. They said all yep, regions green. have good locals. LNER went to overlook because of Scots and Mallow. I mean, that is, it is true. Oh, with boiler pressures uh, gone. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've let the fire mask drop for a bit, but we're in the elevator. It's there, so it's not really uh, trouble. I would say the V2s are pretty decent locals as well. Yep. And the Q6 I do quite like as a freight loco, purely because I rode on it on the North, North Yorkshire Wars and it was well good. Yeah, I quite like um, a lot of the Great Northern stuff. Yeah. I'm hoping, Chris, that there's like a, an 082 tank the northeastern, even the Great Northern or the northeastern. I can't remember the name of it or the class, but it's um, it's a real chunk. But I'm pretty sure it's Great Northern. Yeah. But yeah, I think Matt Matt hit the nail on the head with that comment, and it. It's the thing that annoys me about LNER fans. They always got Tornado, Scotsman, and Mallard. And there's just so many lurkers out there. But they always go on about those three. And I like them in their own respect, but the reputation that comes with them kind of ruins them a bit. Blue Peter? Yeah. Great Northern L1, Scotsman Production says. Let's have a look. Let me just do a quick Google on my phone. Yes, it is. That is exactly the one he's, he's got it spot on. The Great Northern Railway L1. I'm really hoping Chris does that one at some point. Yeah, I do seem to recall having some sort of a 08 Earth tank plan. You have to have an Earth in that like, chart you're in, Reese. Yeah. Things just fell on the floor. I'm going to 
open it back up. I'm gonna say I just got a little bit distracted. It's because we're right at the end now, we're just kind of losing focus. We have added five minutes on to the time where we're not paying attention. I know. <laughs> But it'll be right, we're only one worth only way away, length away. Do you know a local I would like to see um, restored for, for preserved railway operation? It would be the, the Sterling single. Yeah. I'd love to see that being run again. Some, some form of great northern coach style. Even See, I don't, sound, uh, I don't want to sound cynical here, but it wouldn't really work on heritage railways. No, unless it was like the Great Central or something, where I couldn't see it running successfully yeah. anywhere else. It's it's a lovely loco, and I would love to see it running, but I think it it's one of those that you'd need to run on the main line. But just it wouldn't be able to keep to any sort of mainline timetable. The train sim guy has arrived at Portsmouth Harbour but he had 10 Mark 1s on the back. Yeah, see, I don't think we've done too bad for the load we've got. I think, you know, 13 coaches, we've done all right, I think. I, I think we've performed admirably. You know, considering we had a bit of a crappy start. Yeah, we had a dodgy start, we've been running it with two people instead of one. And we've got 13 coaches on, which is not an easy load, especially when the pool runs. Exactly. So, you know what, I'm quite happy with how we've done tonight. Yeah, so am I. I'm not happy about the frame rates. They've been terrible. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Spank you, spank you. <laughs> yeah, it might just be the, um, the cost that comes with where we're doing it. Yeah. I'm going to start breaking now. We'll have to have a go at um, doing a multiplayer thing without streaming to YouTube and see if it's any better. Well, perhaps if we do it again, Sam, we might do it as a video rather than a live stream. Yeah. Because it's, it's streaming in two different ways at once, isn't it? So perhaps if we do it as a video rather than a live stream, it might make it a bit better. Yeah. We'll have to have a go with it and see what it does. 40 mile an hour speed limit coming up. We're just, just approaching Fratton. <laughs> Sam is struggling to shut the fire doors. Open them. Oh, open them. There's a motive power depot here somewhere. Yeah, just beware of stopping because with this frame rate it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, it will. Chris asks what happened to the 2800. Don't worry Chris, we will do it. Next week. Which is approaching the university now, I think. If we're approaching the university, then we're vastly approaching the way I used to ride my bike to work. Yeah. 
down to 25 miles now for the run into Portsmouth. My keyboard controls seem to be not working. That's probably because I were just shutting the fire door. Oh, right, okay. I'll let you um, take over again. Yeah, sorry, I wouldn't worry too much. We're, uh, we're just co sort of coasting our way through Portsmouth at the moment. Good stuff. Oh, Terry's got a cup of tea with him and a few biscuits in the support coach for us. <laughs> a few biscuits? A few biscuits? Well, I mean, you know, we ate the Cornish pasty already. And we only <laughs> had one between us. <laughs> you know, when we take Bahamas on uh, tours, it's absolutely lovely. We have a proper kitchen in there. Um, and we'll do, like, proper meals. Oh, nice. Um, last time we went on one... We had like a proper stew in uh, a slow cooker. Oh, sweet. And uh, we're just spot on. This is Portsmouth and South Sea. Poop, <whistles> doop. Poop, poop. These frameworks have been really potato. We had an ex-girlfriend that looked in safe, see? She was absolutely insane. <laughs> I called her Snake Girl. Nice. <laughs> because she had several snakes. That's a bit better, I guess. And, uh, turned out, I don't like snakes. Ah. So it's not the best way to uh, go through a relationship. Didn't last yep. long. Mainly because she decided to try and overcome my fear of snakes by taking the biggest snake that she had and putting it on my shoulders. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Now, I don't agree with animal cruelty or anything like that, but I, I took this snake and I threw it across the room <laughs> because I was shitting myself. I don't have, have you ever considered you have might have be Harrison Ford? What's that, sorry? Have you ever considered you might be Harrison Ford? I might be. I might be the Harrison Ford of the train sim community. Yep, this is where I used to ride my bike, on this road. Back to the harbour. Oh, Heritage Railway Productions is saying, does B-Girl have pet bees? <laughs> oh god, bee ge bee sting girl. <laughs> well, we shouldn't laugh. Well, Sam, we nearly made it. Don't say that. We're nearly there, Don't we're nearly at the harbour station. Don't say nearly. I'm going to say that tonight has been a success. Yeah, I'd say so. Spam you. You know, whenever that happens, your computer will be getting Q spammed from two different keyboards at the same time. I know, it's going to get Q overload. I'll be having a heart attack. You're like, oh, okay, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, don't spam it again. Is it 15 speed limit? Yeah. We're going into platform five. And there's a shopping centre to the left of the station. I went there once to meet a girl. And she said, oh, you remind me of my dead ex-husband. And I went, nope. And run away. <laughs> there we go. Strange folk. We've made it. We've done it. Portsmouth Harbour. 
has brought all the people from London for their uh, their day out on the Isle of Wight ferry. Lovely now, don't the brew eggs. No, you got to stop in the right place. Well, as long as we do stop. We will. It would be a really sour note to have gone through all that and then derail. We won't derail, I can assure you. We're going to derail. We're not going to derail. <laughs> See, totally planned. See, no problem. Yep. Well, we did it. We actually did it. All right, it's about four frames a second, but we did it. London to Portsmouth with the gold arrow. I'm actually really quite chuffed at that. So am I. I think that's. I think that's the most I've had to concentrate on training sim. Ever. Yeah, but, I'm gonna be honest. That was difficult. That really was a difficult run. Yeah. It was good, though. It was very good. I enjoyed that. And Train Sim's about to kick us out of the scenario there. Yep. Right then, everybody. So, we made it all the way. We oui, we. Oui. Hooray. So, uh, let's do a quick recap. We set sail from London Waterloo with the Lich Navy Clan Line. Um, the first half of the journey was fraught with difficulty because we spent most of the time panicking about the water level and the boiler. Um, we kind of bundled our way up to Woking where we swapped over, had a blow up. And I'd say the second half of the journey was actually quite successful. Yeah, I'd agree with that. We finally we sort of found our feet. Just bear in mind that this is the first time that we've ever done this, where both of us are driving the same low phone. Um, it's had its difficulties, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not been perfect, but it's been good enough to try again. Yeah. Ooh. But I really enjoyed driving that engine. I've got to be honest, it's one of the nicest locals in train sim. Although the, oh, the yeah. frame rates, I would recommend doing a different route because that route was potato in terms of frame rates. Yeah, I'll have to have another look and see what we can do. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Hi. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed it, ladies and gents. Um, yeah, tonight we were going to do the 2800 on the Penrith Valley Railway, but since the Merchant Navies came out yesterday, I thought better delay the 2800 stream until next week. So join us next week on Friday, uh, 2800 hours, 8 o'clock UK time. Um, remember to rate, comment, no, uh, like and subscribe. I've been joined tonight by Sam Stevenson of Last Pipe Productions. Yep. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>